Good morning. For those of you that don't know me or don't recognize me without a hat on, my name is John David Curry. And I wanted to spend just a few minutes today to discuss a subject with you that is near and dear to my heart, security and safety. After recently completing a two-year volunteer ministry in downtown Knoxville, I returned back to St. Thomas the Apostle, my home parish, five weeks ago. After meeting with Joe Piscatello, our business operations manager, we agreed that I would resume my volunteer role as, under Joe's direction as the lead of our safety and security program here at St. Thomas. Safety and security is paramount in ensuring our parish congregation receives the desired outcome when they attend our masses or any other events here at St. Thomas. With the current environment, we believe there are certain things and actions we can take to show or shore up some of our vulnerable areas and to prove our safety and security here at St. Thomas. Our ultimate goal is to create a safety conscious environment at St. Thomas, but in order to achieve these goals and objectives, we need help from you, our ushers. With that said, I wanted to spend a few minutes today to outline some of the things in the future we are going to be doing to enhance our safety and security here at our campus for all of our weekend masses and other events here at St. Thomas. First, I want to thank you for your willingness to serve in this extremely important ministry as ushers have this distinct opportunity and ability in the way that they greet and see people to set the stage for our parishioners to have a wonderful experience at Mass. What's next? Over the course of the next few weeks, we're going to be conducting some training using our emergency procedures for Catholic parishes, missions, and organizations, along with other local, state, and federal guideline input. I will be, to I will be posting this training criteria on the website for you to review. Some of the training will be online videos and some subject matters will be held in person. Here's what I would request from you. I would ask that you review the training matrix topics and to, to identify those areas you don't feel comfortable to participate in. Let me say this, it's okay if you don't want to participate in some of these items and it doesn't mean that you can't serve as an usher. Not all training is applicable to all ushers. Once you've had opportunity to review the list, I would appreciate your response to me with those areas of training you're willing to participate in. Although the sum of the training matrix will be applicable to all ushers, not all ushers will require and receive all training. Here are some of the interim measures we have taken to date. We have reinstituted the safety and security team here at St. Thomas the Apostle. We have enhanced our safety and security at all of our weekend masses. We now have a drone video of our 48 acre campus for surveillance purposes. And we are in the process of meeting with law enforcement to redefine our weekend traffic and law enforcement safety and security support. Once again, I would like to thank you for your willingness to serve as ushers. And also, thank you so much for spending just this time with me today. God bless you and have a great day.